with him first, so I apologize for that. When you come on, please tell us hello. Tell us how you're doing today and tell us where you're from. We'd love to know that. So today we are going to work on Cameron's bridal bouquet. So Cameron is our bride that we are working on this weekend. She is getting married um, on Saturday. And you have seen us work with a lot of faux flowers today, um, this week and last week. Um, Cameron brought in most of her flowers for us to work on. Well, she asked that her bouquet be tied in more of a cascading type of bouquet, and she wanted fresh blooms added to hers. So that's what we're going to work on today. Um, now, Victoria is here with me, and we are live on both Facebook and YouTube. Um, so if you have questions or comments, please, please ask. And over on Facebook, if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up or a heart. Um, we are not able to use our microphone. And so if you can hear me good, I need a thumbs up or a heart. I need to make sure you can hear me or I need to talk louder for you guys. Um, so we're going to start out with some white hydrangeas. So I am going to use some fresh white blooms. And they're, they're kind of two tones, but that's okay. We're just going to mix them. So there are um, four blooms here. And... I'm just going to take them and gather them in my hand, just like that, okay? And what we're going to do is we are going to um, know just the satin you put on a plant. Just the plain old stuff that we put on a plant that's white, please, sir. Thank you, Owen. So I'm just gathering those in my hand. I have removed most of the foliage, so I'm just holding those blooms right in my hand. Now, with Cameron's um, flowers, we have used a lot of these huge beautiful dahlias. Um, they're kind of um, a mauve color. They're just so, so pretty, but they're very large. So I was a little concerned about the size of these blooms, but I practiced <laughs> before we came live. And I went in there and I said, Victoria, look, let's see if this is going to work. So we are going to use two blooms. Now, I always like to say it's hard to use um, such a face flower in a bridal bouquet. And uh, the reason is, is if we only use one bloom, well, I mean, it just stands out so badly as one bloom. That's what I needed. Thank you, Owen. Um, it just stands out. I mean, it's just so large, okay? But we are going to add more flowers in. It's going to be completely okay. So I nestled that Dahlia right down into this bouquet, okay? into those hydrangeas. I'm going to take the second bloom and I'm going to nestle it in also. Now, they are real close, they're really large, and they look like two eyes looking at you. But I promise, once I get the other flowers in this bouquet, they won't. Let me just say, though, it is always very important when making any arrangement that you stand back and look at it. If it looks like eyes are looking at you, you need to redesign that. Um, problem is, is we only have two of these blooms left. We have used these blooms in all of our other arrangements, and we only have two blooms left, and they're just so darn big. Now, I have another variety of the Dahlias. I don't necessarily love their color as much as I do these. So, if we decide we don't like these, I really think it's going to be okay, because I practiced. <laughs> I'm convincing myself, if you could not tell, I'm mm -hmm. going to convince myself that they're going to be fine. Um, okay, so we have those two dahlias tucked right into that bouquet, okay? Next, we're going to come in. So, Cameron wanted her bouquet to look cascading. So, a cascading bouquet, most often you will see us make an all the way around bouquet. A cascading bouquet is a bouquet that kind of drips in the front. A teardrop you've heard it called a teardrop but it has a lot of um, with a cascade it's just really whimsical um, it's not a perfect teardrop it's more of of just a whimsical cascade so I am going to take these artificial um, ranunculus and I am going to nestle those right in and they are going to give us a little bit of that cascade um, on YouTube um, Miss Mary Lou says, hello ladies, can't wait to see this bouquet. Hello Mary Lou, thank you for being here. 
Um, Larry Wells says hello from Fairfield, Illinois. Love watching you. So glad you're here. Um, Miss Linda Sue says hello, and Miss Donna says perfectly clear volume. Oh, good, good, good. Thank you, guys. Thank y'all for being here. Okay, so I added our ranunculus, so see how it's kind of giving us a little bit of a drip. Next, we're going to come in with some of this is, my mind just went blank, wisteria. So, wisteria often when you see growing, it's more of a vine, and it's not really a cut flower. Um, but we can use it as a bloom in, we've used it throughout her bouquets and her arrangements. She loved the drippy effect of the wisteria. And it's really actually turned out very lovely. So I'm going to use her wisteria and I am just gathering it right down here. And it's just, I'm just gathering it in my hand just as if it's a bridal, I mean it's a hand tied bouquet. And you can see how I am just adding it to the end. Um, Allison says, hey, Monty Victoria, it's my birthday. <gasps> Allison, happy, happy birthday. I got a little choked up, girl. Happy birthday to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for telling us. Happy birthday, our friend. Okay, so I, I took our wisteria. Now, don't worry. I'm going to actually add... Um, some pretty greens to give us to make it not look so so white <laughs> it is so white isn't it okay so next we're going to come in with we're going to get us a handful of this eucalyptus and that's going to show you i just laid it right up underneath um, Linda Jester says, wow, finally caught you live at the beginning. Hello, I can hear you real well. Hello, hello. How are you, friend? Glad you're here with us. Miss Linda Ball says, my first time catching you live. Love watching you and all your crew. Yay, Miss Linda, thank you for being here. Okay, so I'm going to continue with my faux blooms. This is a little bit of a faux um, hydrangea. So these are all blooms that our bride brought us. And so I'm just kind of tucking some of those in. You saw me work in a little bit of that eucalyptus. And so I'm just taking little stems of the eucalyptus and kind of working those in. Now what they're going to do is help break up a little bit of these, these real large blooms. Um, Rhea Norman is watching from England. Hello, welcome. So glad you're here. Um, Kristen Weaver says, hey crew. Hello, friend, friend, how are you? And Kyle Fletcher asks, how are you today? We are good, Kyle Fletcher. We've had a much busier day today. Okay, so see how I just nestled a little bit of that eucalyptus in there? And it's going to help break up some of that dahlia. Oh, that's a pretty color though. Okay, my stems are long. Okay, now we're gonna come in we're going to continue with our artificial blooms. This is a little rose, kind of a little gardeny rose. We're going to tuck those in. We've got several of those stems. And I'm just kind of coming all the way around. I'm going to nestle that right down into that hydrangea. Pull it right through. And the wonderful part about the faux flowers is we can just kind of we can bend them and move them. Um, Allison says, thank you, thank you. So glad you're here, our friend. On your birthday. Mm -hmm. All right, so these are kind of a little mom. I'm just nestling those right in. That's another mom that she had. Um, from Miss Mary Lou, she says, I loved your design for the mailbox. Thank you, Miss Mary Lou. Thank you, thank you. I don't know if you saw the video I did at the 4th of July. We did a 4th of July one, kind of a patriotic, and it was for that same mailbox. And so she came. It's almost football season here at Mississippi State University, and so she wanted a football mailbox. I mean, a, foot, a, a seasonal mailbox that is our football colors. Okay, I tucked a little bit of eucalyptus in there. See how that eucalyptus gives us some whimsy? Okay, now we're going to add... 
We're gonna add, we'll wait till the end to add our, um, this is freesia, artificial freesia. We're gonna tuck that in at the end. Let's add a little bit of fresh to our bouquet. So we did add up underneath, you can't see it, there are, I mean, hydrangeas, fresh hydrangeas, and then our fresh eucalyptus. This is rice flour. We actually had someone ask today about rice flour. Tell us again, Victoria, how easy is rice, you read about it. Yeah. How easy is rice flour to grow? Um, it seemed to be very easy. Um, it was what I read, I'm sorry, I'm gonna take my earbud out because I hear it so much. Say one um, <laughs> so um, what I read said that um, you just need to, they like being in full sun or light shade. Um, you wanna plant them in early spring or early fall. Um, you need to water them more often as they're growing, but once they fully bloomed, like they, you don't really, they're, they're fine. Sorry, they're hardy and happy. Yeah, and, and you just something. need to, they don't require much maintenance. You just need to water them every now and then. So the wonderful part too about rice flour, first of all, the color is fantastic with those dahlias. I mean, like it's perfect. Um, rice flour dries beautifully. And so um, once it's cut, you can actually, it'll just dry in your bouquet and it'll hold its form. But look how pretty that rice flour is. It is so pretty. So I nestled the, some of that rice flour in. Those are three stems of rice flour. Next, we're gonna use a little bit of Veronica. So, um, Veronica comes in lots of colors. It comes in this white, it comes in a purple, it comes in a pink, but the pink is kind of pinky purple. Um, and so, I thought we would take some of the white blooms, and you can see I'm kind of holding the flower stems up against me, just because they're not so easy to hold once they get to, the bouquet gets bigger. I'm just pressing those right down in. Now they're gonna give us a little bit of a drippy effect to this bouquet, but give us a little movement. Um, Bell's Bliss Design says, I worked on a silk bridal bouquet today myself. Really? We'd love to see yours. Please share a picture. Miss Eileen Ogden says, good morning from Brisbane, Australia. No sir, get down. Don't come <laughs> up here. Hello, hello, welcome. Um, Kristen Weaver says, doing yard work all day since Wyatt is in Alabama. I Ooh, love girl. those big pink flowers. I bet you're burning up. I hope you're drinking lots and lots of water. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so there's our Veronica tucked in to give us some movement. And Osa's thinking that this is his toy. Okay, next we've got a few white roses. These are fresh white roses. And so I'm going to nestle those right down in. And you can see how I'm kind of twisting it and turning it just to kind of work it right in. Um, Saska Atkinson says, hi, great to catch you live before I go to bed. These wedding flowers are so different to what you normally do. They are very pretty. Thank I am, you. <laughs> I am looking forward to seeing the barn all set up. The eucalyptus makes such a big difference. You are amazing how oh. you can get things to work. Thank you, sweet friend. Thank you. Okay, so I'm nestling just a few roses in. And really what that's doing is just adding that little freshness right to that bouquet. There he comes. He has to have his self all up in here. What are you doing, Brother Bear? Are you checking it out? Okay, get over there and lay down. Lay down, right here. Go on. Go. Move on. Hey, move. Oh, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Everybody needs a bossy cat, right? Okay, so this rose was too close to the other one, so I'm moving him. Um... Ms. Rhea asks, is this okay for the same wedding you made the canopy for over the food table? It's beautiful. Yes, ma'am. So this is the bride's bouquet, and I'll run and pull um, the bridesmaids out in just a second so you can see one of those two. Okay, so I think that's enough roses. Does it need one more? Well, I got one more. Let's tuck him down here. Uh, Miss Marianne asks, will you use any of the pink flowers on the overhang of the buffet? I need to. I almost think, what well, I don't have a whole lot of pink flowers left. I do have some mums um, that are left and some roses, and I may have to tint those pink. We ran out of the dahlias. 
Um, but I felt like the Bridesmaids bouquets really needed the dahlias. And that's going to be absolutely beautiful in whites with touches of pink. And I think she will be completely okay with that. But I may paint some things pink to give us that. Okay. So there is most of the bouquet. I am going to take and add a few of these. This is freesia. Um, so it's very pretty bloom. They're very sweet and very delicate and they smell so lovely. Freesia smells so pretty. I don't know if you've ever smelled it, but it's almost spicy. It almost has a little bit of a spicy smell to it. All right, so this dude's fixing to have to get taped because it is. So there's our bouquet. I am going to add some more eucalyptus, but I'm going to go ahead and tape it because it's a little heavy in my hand. So let me show you how we're going to tape it. Oh, you just got in your spot, in your comfortable spot, didn't you, boy? Rotten. Everybody needs a rotten cat. Okay, so this is just waterproof tape. And I am going to take these stems and I am going to tape them and tape them and tape them. It is so important that this thing does not fall apart. So, I want you to hold it tight and I want you to tape it and tape it and tape it. Melanie Gomez says, I love how you are able to get a cascade look without an Oasis bridal holder. Now, I'll be honest, I don't use Oasis bridal holders. Um, they make me so nervous because brides are not very um, delicate with these bouquets, and I was always scared my flowers would fall out. Um, so, I have been in the, I mean, we. I think we learned how to use them, but you can't get very many flowers in them. And so, since I've ever done bouquets on my own, I've always done a hand, a hand tailed or a hand tied bouquet. Okay, so there is our bridal bouquet. We're gonna add some more eucalyptus. Did we go dark over on YouTube? Hang on guys, we're coming back, we're coming back. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're gonna add a little more greenery. Um, Rosemary Stark says, I thought you were going to have a problem with the two large pink flowers, but they have blended beautifully. They're not bad. Lovely. I'm going to add some more greenery in between, I think, though, because we really don't, we want them to look like individual flowers. But I don't want them to look like eyes either. Okay, let's see, let's see. Um, Kim Walker on YouTube says, beautiful bouquet, just tuning in. Did you pre-cut your silk stems short at the beginning or di of design? I left them long. <laughs> They're too long. Um, okay, so this is a white ranunculus. This is one of the blooms that we actually, I think we put some in the bridesmaids bouquets. Um, so what I'm thinking is, I think I'm going to tuck him right here between our dahlias. And I'm just going to nestle that stem right into that bouquet. And I'm going to pull it. Um, Arlene Tuck says, love your cat. I have one spoiled cat, too. I love my cat. Oh, that's better. So see how that was one stem of ranunculus? I just nestled it in between, and now it doesn't look like two eyes looking back at you. Um, she says, I found him in my shed. He weighed 2.3 pounds. Now he weighs 13 pounds. Oh my goodness. Well, I, we don't know how much this big guy weighs, but he is so rotten. He's kind of like your baby. He just decided that we were, we belong to him. Um, okay. So next what we're going to do is just add some more eucalyptus. Are you going to come over here, fat cat? Come show up. Come say hello. Oh, no, you were just kidding. Miss Eileen says, she didn't get to finish her message earlier. She says, watching from Brisbane, Australia, meant to say I have watched, I have loved watching this wedding develop. This bouquet is stunning, definitely the best. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. It's really pretty. Elsie 
says that is so amazing. I love all the beautiful colors. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I've tucked some eucalyptus. Now it's important that this eucalyptus touches the water. So I have to kind of be sure that I get those stems long enough that it's gonna touch the water. Because I'm gonna tuck it down in water. But there we go. I think that's our bride's bouquet. I'm gonna stand back. I don't know, are those eyes looking at you? Um, Dawn Miller says, Osa is a handsome boy. Thank you, Dawn. Okay, I nestled one of those. Is that better? Is he looking at me? Is he looking at you? Mm, he is a little more this yep, way he's than a little he eyes. Before. He's got eyes, and I don't want him to. Okay, I'll tell you what. What if we nestle him in? Is that going to help? Not really? Um, yes. Yes? Okay, so here's the problem. Is the time, when you stand up there with this bouquet, is that gonna look like eyes when it's up against your dress? That's better than that you. Oh, is that better? I think that's better. I didn't love the, see how peachy this one is? And I don't know that I want the peachy. Now we can put the peach. I think I like the colors better when it's just those. I do too. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Should I go you look move, in a mirror? Think, yeah, you need to. <laughs> well, I'm kind of looking in a mirror here. I think that's better. It's down. Mm -hmm. It's down some. Um, Allison says it's beautiful. Is it okay? Does it look at you though, Allison? Do you, can you look, see this Dahlia I just tucked here? Does it look like two eyes are looking at you? So the one thing is, is that, and this is a me thing, I'm sure. I'm sure it's a me thing. But I don't want, when we get those pictures back, of they, that bride holding that bouquet, are those two eyes looking at you? They said, don't add the peach when it takes away. I thought um, so, too. Sharon says, no, it looks great. Um, Drake says, it doesn't look like eyes. Okay. And Diane says, I love it. Good, good, good. Okay, so I just get worried. <laughs> there is nothing worse than two eyes looking at you. And you need to always, anytime when designing flowers, take that into consideration. Is this arrangement going to look at me? And if you would take a picture of it and then look at the picture, you're always going to, for some reason, and I don't know why, when you take a picture and look at it is when you see the flaws. Okay, so I am taking this tape and I am taping this bouquet. And it really, really, you got to keep taping it. Now, um, oh, go Ms. ahead. Miss Julie says if you, if you need a better look at it, I can hold it for you. You I could hold think it for me. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Julie. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. So we were like, what does this look like? <laughs> I do think it's better. Do you want me to hold it for you real quick? Yep. I need Would to hold better? it. Oh, yeah. It's going to be fine. Yeah, it's not. Oh, the ranunculus are so pretty on the front, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. Okay, so there is our bride's bouquet. Now, I'm going to walk in here really quickly, and I'm going to grab the bridesmaid's bouquet because I'd like for you to see them side by side. Now, it's going to take some work for me to cut all of these stems, so I'm probably not going to cut them all right this second. But, of course, I'm cutting everything that's fresh. Um, so, what we'll do is we're going to trim all of these stems. Um, Anita Green asks, have you had many brides want you to dry their bouquets after the wedding for a keepsake? I really don't get into that much. I have tried to do the risen where you um, make an arrangement, you know, take their bouquets, cut all the heads of the flowers off, and then um, make an arrangement in like resin. Um, I did that, and that is so much work. I said, no, that is far too much work. She loved the bouquet. She was very pleased with the bouquet. Um, I tend to be, 
um, my own worst critic. So it, I didn't think that it was perfect. <laughs> and I mean, it's not gonna be perfect. Okay, so there is our bouquet. So this bouquet, she is going to hold right there in front of her and it's going to just cascade down. Now, it is important when you take your bouquet to your bride and you put it in her hands that you give her a tutorial on how to carry this bouquet. Because what she's going to do is carry it just like this. This is how she's going to carry this bouquet down the aisle. Um, because this, for some reason, is the most comfortable way to carry a bouquet. Now, there, it is very important that you explain to a bride, you hold it at your belly button. You hold it where your arms are sitting right on your waist, okay? You need that bouquet down. We want to see your beautiful face. And if this bouquet is up here, I can't see your face and I can't see those pretty flowers. So I need you and you tell all the bridesmaids the same because they're gonna carry them just like microphones. They're gonna carry it right up here in their face, just like a microphone. Always carry a bouquet down at your belly button. You probably, most people probably don't even call those belly buttons. <laughs> right here at your navel. You're gonna hold that bouquet at your navel, okay? I'm gonna go grab the bridesmaid's bouquet so you can see that together. Linda Sue says, beautiful bouquet. Kitty just wants to be a movie star. I agree. <laughs> it is a beautiful bouquet, but also that <laughs> Osa does want to be the center of attention sometimes, which is fine because I love it when he's the center of attention. <laughs> Do what? I was talking about uh, Miss Linda on Can they see YouTube. him? Can they see him? On YouTube you can. There's um, the cat. She said it was a beautiful bouquet and he just wants to be a movie star. <laughs> There's the cat who thinks he needs to be in the middle. This is her bridesmaid's bouquet. So, um, with the bridesmaid's bouquet, it is all faux flowers except the foliage. And so we actually put these together last week. Um, but it's all faux flowers. Now, for this bouquet, I did use the smaller Dahlia um, that's kind of in the peachy family. I believe the girls are wearing blue dresses. So I use this Dahlia in these bouquets, but look at how fresh the eucalyptus makes that bouquet. So what we did was we wrapped those stems with some um, white ribbon. We pinned it with corsage pins, and these are actually in the cooler. Um, and the reason we have them in the cooler is because our eucalyptus will stay fresh if they're cut and placed in water. Um, but here's her, here is Cameron's bouquet, and then there is our bridesmaid's bouquet. Now we will do the same ribbon technique for Cameron's um, and add ribbon to the bouquet. Um, but there are the two bouquets. Mm -hmm. It is pretty. It really yeah. is pretty. I love the rice flower. I think the rice flower really, really added to the bouquet. Um, but that eucalyptus, it looks fresh. Um, Allison says, wow, the bridesmaids came out fabulous with Aren't the eucalyptus. They? Aren't they pretty? I think um, they turned out really sweet. They're saying they're beautiful. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Um, Emily Dodd asks, what are the benefits of using real and artificial? Okay, so our bride, her grandmother was a florist. And I really think originally they had, um, Grandmama was going to put together all of her flowers. And um, then they decided that's just a lot. It was so much work they chose to have us put together her flowers. I was going to do the larger things, like I was gonna do her bridal bouquet because she wanted fresh blooms in it. And then I was going to do the cross and the piece that goes over the um, buffet. But she just decided to bring it all to me. Now for me, the advantage is I didn't have to order anything except the greenery. And I was able to be creative and use the blooms that she brought. Um, and so for me, that was that's really easy and really fun, actually. It's kind of fun to be able to use her pretty flowers and, and kind of do something different. Something that's a little different than what I normally do. Um, but... 
this was her, the reasoning was because grandmother was going to do the bouquets, I believe. Um, Miss Marguerite Cuso says, Osa is such a good boss. I know, right? <laughs> He's such a rotten boy. Look at him, just going to get up here and go to sleep. So <laughs> bad. Miss Shirley says, both so pretty and I love seeing Osa. Um, Dawn Miller says, just gorgeous. This is going to be a beautiful wedding. Take pictures. I will, Miss Dawn. I'll take you on a tour. No worries. <laughs> Um, Miss Linda says he is sleeping on the job. No, he sleeps on, he is always sleeping. He has been kind of rowdy today. <laughs> he has been playing and rowdy all the things today. Yeah, I'm going to say this beautiful. All right, guys, thank you for being here this afternoon. Thank you so much for always coming here and watching the videos over on YouTube, if you didn't know it, just in case. We do lives like this every single day over on Facebook, so we would love for you to join us there. And over here on Facebook, be sure to hop over to YouTube and follow our page. Subscribe to that channel. We do um, videos, what, three, three or four times a week? Um, and we post those over on YouTube, so we'd love to have you join us over there. Guys, thank y'all for being here. If you have any questions about how we do things, you know you can ask. You can send us a message and ask us. We're so happy to answer. Do me a great big favor over here on Facebook. Sprinkle this video so other people can see it, and I will be live in the morning doing our devotion. So join us at 8 o'clock in the morning Central Time, um, and I will be doing a devotion, a devotion and then we'll go live again tomorrow afternoon making more pretty flowers. Guys, y'all have a wonderful day and we'll see y'all real